Technology is a well-established company celebrating 20 years developing equipment to help laboratories improve their sample preparation process. Sample preparation is a key step in the overall analytical process and Horizon Technology can help with extraction, extract drying, and the concentration or evaporation step. In this video, you will see one liter water samples, representative of the types of samples encountered in the environment, extracted for pesticide analysis using a method such as US EPA 608. We will be using solid phase extraction. Both cartridges and disc formats are available, but in this case, discs are more efficient for larger sample volumes and for samples that may contain particulates such as sediment, clay, soil, etc. Let's hear what Bob Johnson said about the difference between cartridges and discs in a recent webcast on SPE 101. Well, what's the real difference between a cartridge and a disc? The diagram on the left shows a typical disc, or excuse me, cartridge. The packing material is typically 40 to 60 microns, and you could almost liken that to boulders or rocks in a jar. And if you flow the sample too fast, you'll have channeling, meaning that the sample can pass through without making contact to a particle, which means you will not get the absorption that you're looking for. Discs, on the other hand, typically use 5 to 10 micron particles, and so the picture on the right represents sand. As you pour that same water through, the water cannot make it through without making contact to the sand particles, which means I do not have any breakthrough. This means I can go at a very fast flow rate through a disk. Next, you'll see samples of varying particulate matter processing through a solid phase extraction disk. You'll also see a timer to give you an idea of how long the process really takes. Now that you've seen the samples flow through the solid phase extraction disk, we've taken them out and in the next slide you'll see what they look like. The pre-filters help to contain the particulate and allow the liquid to flow through the adsorbent disk. Since the particulate is not discarded, the elution solvent rinses it and the bottle interior, ensuring the best possible recovery of the analytes. Since these samples were particularly challenging, we used two pre-filters, a 1 micron pre-filter and a 5 micron pre-filter. You can see that the pre-filters are quite dirty, but the adsorbent disk remains pretty clean, so the solution was able to flow through it and the adsorbent do its job. Although we've been most concerned about particulated samples in this video, there are a number of EPA programs that have developed methodologies using SPE for both clean and dirty samples. There are a number of drinking water methods that have SPE written right into them. So this list on this slide and the next show those methods.
The Office of Resource Conservation and Recovery also allows solid phase extraction for a number of methods listed here. The US EPA has also allowed solid phase extraction for the preparation of samples for method 608, pesticide analysis. This was done through an alternative test procedure. We're very excited that the US EPA is considering solid phase extraction for method 625, a wastewater method that contains a full suite of semi-volatile analytes. SPE was included in a round robin with excellent results, and we expect to see the next revision of method 625, including SPE language, in early fall or perhaps early winter.